Hi Cancer, this is your horoscope for March 2019. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Now the first thing that happens is on the 2nd of March, Venus, the planet of love and beauty and creativity, goes into Aquarius in your 8th house. So you're going to feel very obligated to make a difference to other people's lives, to be a humanitarian and to help out. Now, uh, the law of the universe is that what you give out, you get back. So don't censor yourself or don't restrict that urge. Go out and help people, especially in your working life or colleagues or friends, because whatever good you add to their life, you're going to get back. On the 5th of March, we've got Mercury, the communication planet, going retrograde and it's in Pisces. So Mercury stays in retrograde until the 28th of March and it's in your ninth house of travel, education, broadening your horizons, the higher realms, moving and travel. So you've got Neptune sitting there which is the water planet of imagination and dreams, the Sun in Pisces, your identity, the transiting midheaven in Pisces and the moon in Pisces. So whenever a Mercury goes retrograde, communication becomes altered. And rather than thinking the way you usually think or communicating the way you usually do, you have to find new ways of going about doing that. And what I really think is you're going to start considering your level of education and whether you're qualified or whether you should take additional qualifications to improve your working life, to have more power in your work. You may also contemplate moving, especially moving in regards and in relation to work, whether your work would be better off in a different area and you're going to examine that very closely. So the way the messages are going to come across are through your feelings because Mercury is in Pisces so it's not about logic it's about I feel this so don't dismiss those feelings and if they are repetitive then they're especially important because you know then that it's from your higher self on the 6th of March we've got the new moon in Pisces in your ninth I'll make a separate video on this but the new moon is when the moon is totally pitch black and it pulls in lots of Pisces energy. So Pisces is about spirituality, it's about being psychic and intuitive, it's about creativity and nurturing others and being self-sacrificing. So all of those things come into play and with Mercury sitting there as well, you're going to look at your education levels and your position in the world from those, from that with those criteria. Am I being selfless? Am I helping other people? Am I able to use my intuition? Am I able to be creative? Am I able to reach out and connect with other people? So that's going to be important to you this month. So think about that. If you don't care about relationships, you're still going to focus on this and that is something that you should then use to be creative or to be intuitive. Whatever you feel most comfortable with or whatever you feel is most useful to you, put your energy into that. Now on the 7th of March we've got something really big happening. We've got Uranus, the planet of rebellion and chaos and the unexpected and miraculous. It's an outer planet so it's one of the big boys and its path, the way it's, it moves, is really odd and chaotic as well. It stays in Taurus, well it moves into Taurus on the 7th here, it leaves Aries, and it stays in Taurus until 2025-2026, depending on where you are. For, so for the next 6 or 7 years, Uranus, the planet of electricity and energy, moves into the sign of Taurus, which is about stability, security, money, sensuality, having a fixed income, having a fixed home. And that's in your 11th house of hopes and dreams. So that Pisces energy and the Mercury retrograde, they really, really support you here in March. 
because especially from the seventh onwards you're going to start thinking what ultimately what do i want to be where do i want to end up so you're going to start thinking ahead so if you're 20 you're going to think okay maybe by 25 i want to have a deposit for my own house if you're 60 you're like okay i want to retire from my day job in the next five years and then i want to open a holistic wellness center for instance okay so mercury is going to allow you to think about these things differently and uranus is going to give you the strength and the energy for the next six or seven years to manifest your dreams now because it's an outer planet it might have global effects so financially things might change in the world so that energy keeps you busy until the 20th of march when we have a full moon in libra and that happens in your fourth house of family to super moon the first three moons of this year have been super moons they've been bigger than usual affect us more than usual it's in libra in your fourth house so this is a fab time for you to spend with family and to really connect with them family and to get on well with them to make your relationships better also it's spring so we have the spring equinox which is an equality of night and day and um, it's the it's the start of springtime which I'm really excited about because the days are longer we have more sunshine and we're entering into like the the, the positive period if you're in the northern hemisphere if you're in the southern hemisphere obviously it's the start of autumn also on the 20th the sun moves into aries so now the sun has been in your ninth house of kind of education and thinking about what you're going to be doing and it goes into your 10th house of career in aries so you're going to now say okay i'm going to start working on this i'm going to hit the ground running and i'm going to make my dreams come true so i'm either going to enroll or i'm going to um ask for a promotion in this job you're really going to make it happen if you're not satisfied so that's really important you're going to make changes to your work at the end of the month on the 31st of march mars the planet of masculinity and drive moves into gemini and it goes into your 12th house so at the end of March going into April you're really going to communicate your needs and you're going to not be a wallflower you're really confident you're going to confidently communicate what it is you want work wise and education wise and you're going to put your foot down and say well actually I want to do this regardless of what other people think so that's what I get for you in March it looks like a fabulous month for you very transformative if you'd like a personal reading with me please get in touch by my website it's gregoryscott.com click on the readings tab to order your reading in my personal readings i use astrology tarot and numerology um the astrology chart is amazing i sometimes can't believe that i have access to it it shows me everything about you it shows me what your life purpose is what your vocational aptitudes are it's like a blueprint of who you are it shows me what's destined for you in money and communication and family and children and love and romance and work and health i can also look at what your strengths and weaknesses are and what's coming up in future so if you're interested in any of that then please get in touch for a personal reading i hope you have a wonderful march and i'll speak to you next month